So we have this idea of time, that it's this one thing that moves constantly uh, and is sort of inexorably moving forward and we have no control over it and that it's the same for everyone everywhere. It's become common knowledge that that's not true in the domain of physics. If you travel at different speeds, time moves differently. This was one of Einstein's uh, great advances with special relativity. Most of the experiments that we do, the time is sort of inseparable from some other thing like motion. Time doesn't need to be represented on its own in the brain. As far as we know, as far as I know, there's no biological imperative for you to get time right. But you have to get motion right. You need to be able to track so that you can throw your spear right. So you need to be able to get time right in all of these sort of real world, world scenarios that involve some other variable. Most of the time, different parts of the brain won't have their versions of reality challenged, so everything goes along harmoniously. But our job as perceptual experimenters is to find those times when they don't agree, and that's when things get interesting.